Hi, so I'm here with Casper Berry. Casper, the eagle-eyed of you may have spotted, was uh, a face on British kids' TV in the late 80s and early 90s in Biker Grove, and we're in Newcastle now, the home of Biker Grove, chatting to Casper about something slightly different. After Biker Grove, Casper went off to become a professional gambler over in uh, Las Vegas, uh, and he now works with large companies, talking, them to, talking to them about risk and how they approach it. So Casper, you know, in everything you've done from... Uh, the, the entertainment industry, through the gambling, and now working with various companies. And, and indeed, you had a video production company as well. Networking must have played a key role in that. Um, so what would your top tips be for anyone approaching their networks, either for their career or to run their own business? Yes. Uh, well, first thing is networking has been a massive part of a lot of the things that I've done. Uh, building up the, the video production company it was literally about going out and networking sort of three times a week. Um, and in fact, I wish, looking back, and when I give advice to young filmmakers now, I wish I'd understood the power of networks, and particularly peer groups, much more then than I did. Because I think I just thought, if you get the work right, you know, the quality of work right, then, then, then the jobs will follow. And that's not necessarily true. So... Um, I networked three times a week, as I said, when I built my company, and obviously as a speaker, it involved a lot of network and relationship building. So I would say uh, uh, two or three things would be my top tips. Number one, um, something that happened to me quite serendipitously was that I had this ready-made backstory that people could associate me with. So I was like the poker guy, you know, because I'd spent three years playing poker professionally. Um, and that was great. And then, you know, being poker advisor on Casino Royale, everything was fab. But everyone's got a story like that. Everyone's got something that makes them unique. And I think it's just about telling that and refining it and finding out, you know, what it is that's, that's, that's brilliant and, and unique about you and that people can associate you with. I think top tip number two is, is, a, is a classic one, but it's just that, you know, networking involves maybe you say, kissing a lot of frogs. It involves investing in a lot of relationships, some of which will go nowhere. And this is actually kind of what I talk about uh, in my seminars, not how to network, but just the principle that, you know, when you play poker, you will invest in hands of poker, in fact, sometimes 80, 90% of the time, which will go nowhere, that will actually lose. But it's the 10%, the 20% that make a profit, that return everything that, uh, that means that you're earning money in the long run. Say we're networking, you know, we'll invest in relationships, sometimes that will go nowhere, will just bring us great friendship or conversation. And every now and again, it's that one that can introduce you to a new, potentially huge client that can completely change your life. And I think as part of that is something that I call the Nelson Mandela effect. You know, millions of people around the world wore T-shirts saying, free Nelson Mandela. It wasn't any one of those T-shirts that freed Nelson Mandela. It was the cumulative effect of all of them that resulted in the history that we know. And I think it's the same with a lot of different things in our life, and I think networking particularly, is that you can't necessarily point to the exact person or the exact event that resulted in a change to your business or your life. But it's the cumulative effect of going to all of those events and investing in all of those relationships, happily, willingly, not counting it, you know, like beads on, a, on an abacus. That, ultimately, is what precipitates long-term change. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Casper.